Right now in the city, Mayor de Blasio is on the phone with us right now. Mr. Mayor, we've been watching some unbelievable pictures. You saw 125th Street. We've seen water coming in through the subway. FDR is shut down. Bronx River Parkway as well. What's your, what's your reaction to what you're seeing and what's being done right now? What can you do here in the city? Maurice, I've been watching uh, your report the last few minutes. It's astounding, the images that you're showing your viewers. Uh, first of all, I want to let you know uh, we're declaring a state of emergency for New York City. I've just made that decision. Uh, what we're hearing uh, from different parts of the five boroughs, very troubling, particularly Staten Island has been hit really, really hard, immense amount of rain there and huge amount of flooding. I'm very, very worried about what's happening out on the roads. I want to urge everyone, get in quickly. Do not stay out on the roads. It's dangerous. Uh, we're seeing a kind of rainfall we almost never see, this kind of speed with which the rain has come. Uh, everyone's got to get to safety. Do not be out on the roads if you have any choice. And the subways also, I'm sad to say, the subways are basically out of commission at this point. Also not safe to go there. So we're going to have a tough few hours coming up till 1 a.m., 2 a.m., till we get the rain out of here. Tomorrow morning's going to be dangerous as well. I want to really urge anyone who's moving around tomorrow, do not go into uh, a street, a road, a highway with a lot of water accumulated. That could be super dangerous. Your reporter was talking about that before. I, people cannot take a chance with this amount of rain. So we're just, we have our first responders out there responding to a lot of situations around the city. Uh, we got over 5,000 homeowners without power. Uh, this is this is a hard hit we've taken from Hurricane Ida. Mayor, is it pretty safe to say that we just should not rely on public transportation right now? Absolutely, uh, Christine. It's not working. It's not functioning safely. Uh, everything's been thrown for a loop, including mass transit. So I just want to urge people, look, it's a couple more hours, and it's horrible, but do not go out if you can avoid it. If you're someplace where you can hunker down for a few hours, it's so much safer than going out with this kind of accumulation of water and we've got you know the rain is still coming it's not quite as hard as it was before but it's still coming the important thing here is just don't tempt fate we want people to be safe our first responders are stretched really thin right now and we just want to urge everyone to stay safe until the rain passes you, know, what you, you say your crews are out tonight what exactly can they do to assist at this point i mean this looks just epic as we see these pictures it's horrifying, but uh, you know what our first responders, FDNY and EMS, uh, NYPD, they're getting people out of cars, as you've seen. They're, they're going wherever there are folks in danger and getting them to safety. But we're talking about the whole city. We've held over our shifts with first responders, so we have a lot of personnel, but we also got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, and the one thing uh, that people can do is, you know, do not take chances. I'm seeing the images on your screen. Don't even think of driving into a lot of accumulated water. It is always worse than you think it is. And the amount of rainfall we've seen in the last few hours is almost unprecedented. And, Mayor, just to reiterate and underscore your point there, the mayor of Passaic in New Jersey, Hector Laura, just confirms to us here at the station that there have been reports of multiple fatalities in their town, all those people in their cars that were swept away in flash flooding. It is a very serious situation out here, folks. You know, Mayor, earlier the National Weather Service, for the first time, issued a uh, flood warning, a flood emergency, excuse me, for New York. City, the first time they've done that. It, just from your perspective, this is one epic night for the city. I, I've never seen this much rainfall this quickly. Uh, it's absolutely astounding. You know, an inch uh, to an hour, that's one thing. We're talking about three inches, four inches in an hour. I mean, unbelievable accumulation. Absolutely different than everything that had been projected. And I think this is sobering to see what's happening to, with weather in general. It's become so unpredictable, so violent, so fast. Uh, we just have to, all of us, help each other, but really also learn the lesson, never take a chance with any weather like this. It's and, just, and don't take a chance with your loved ones. Stay and Mayor, you remember that, safe. sorry, you remember that snowstorm just a few years ago that snarled the entire region. It just took hours, like eight hours to go 10 blocks. You remember that one? Were there any lessons learned then that you can apply now as you see this kind of crippling storm? I think what we're learning the hard way, Maurice, is that weather reporting, as good and, and earnest as it is, it's only telling us part of the picture. We are seeing storms now faster and, and larger than any projection. And I think the, the lesson to all of us is to take the warnings we get and assume it's going to be a hell of a lot worse. 
This has been the pattern more and more the last few years. And with Ida, we've seen something, a speed that I don't think we've seen ever before with a hurricane. Uh, so we've got to now get into the habit of when, when this kind of weather's coming, it could be a lot worse than any projection we're getting. And, and the best thing to do is never risk it, you know, to assume you've got to stay in when this kind of weather is bearing down on us. What do you expect your night to look like going forward? It's going to be a long night. We're, we're going to just make sure that people are safe. We've got to get to these cars that are flooded, make sure there's not people in them. Uh, do everything we can, get people safe, particularly while this rain is still coming. And then tomorrow morning, again, I want to urge folks, if you do not need to travel to morning, tomorrow morning, don't travel. It's going to be, there's going to be a ton of disruptions. Uh, mass transit not necessarily going to be working the way it's supposed to. Roads are going to still be impassable in some areas. Make alternate plans if you can for tomorrow until we can get a little while for this to drain out and get a little bit more back to normal. Okay, thank right. you very much for the insight tonight. Mayor de Blasio, a lot of work for you to do. We'll let you get back to it. Um, to summarize here, state of emergency in New York City tonight. Mass transit is shut down. Roadways are shut down. It is an emergency. It is epic. We haven't seen it before. Stay off the roadway. That is the bottom line tonight. And we are seeing garbage ga bags floating. floating down the New York City streets. Recycling bag at that, Yes, right? exactly.